Hi, Yarna Bees. It's Sandy. Okay, this is take three. <sighs> Let's try and get this done. And I've got somebody over my shoulder watching me. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to ask what you were filming and then I realized you started. <laughs> uh, you're going to hear life in the background because George is watching football and on the phone talking to his football wife and uh that's that explicit I mean, uh, that explanation is all in a different video you really start calling them football husbands the same wife's kind of weird yeah okay football husband <laughs> then <laughs> anyways um so real life is happening my kids are still here and you know dogs barking and all that okay i have a few things to talk about for the fourth time <laughs> okay number one this hat this hat is freaking awesome. I absolutely love it. This is Heather from the Crochet Witch, her Destination Anywhere hat. Look at this. Isn't this cool? I just love it. Okay, now the it's such an easy pattern. And I just really enjoyed doing it. Excuse me, doing it. I didn't have to really think about what I was doing which was brilliant in itself. Um, the other thing that I love about this hat is the joining. Okay, uh, I'm the hat queen. This is what I do. I make hats every year for the craft fairs. And I never even thought to do a join like this. Like I don't No, uh, uh. She does this special joining after every row. You know how when you're making a hat and you're slip stitching, at the end of the row and you get this line, this fault line that kind of goes off into whatever direction. Uh, this hat does not do that. And I was shocked and, and just absolutely amazed by it. Good job, Heather. Like, good job. I love this and I'm hoping I can use that, um, that join for the rest of my hats. I'm going to be making more of these because I love it. She came out with a cowl to go with it. I haven't done the cowl yet. I'm getting, I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, it took me long enough just to film this. <laughs> um, but anyways, it's here. Sorry about my hair. Here is, where is it? It's like, it's so good that you, I couldn't even see where the fault was see can you see it can you see it yes no it's right here and it's straight up and down and you can barely see it because it's in between the pattern oh it's just brilliant I love it love it love it um the hat is very comfortable it's it's not like tight it's not like and if it is if it ends up being too tight then you can go up a hook size i'm sure but i just love this hat it's so comfy and but the pattern was brilliant it was it it was so easy to do so i'm going to leave her link down below and go check out this this hat pattern um i can't wait to do the cowl right because it was so it was so fun to do so yeah bravo heather bravo i i'm really i love this i really love this so there you go <laughs> okay the second thing i don't do um shout outs very often but this shout out needs to be done it really does and i'm sure that there's a few other shout outs that i want to do too but i'll do that in another video this lady, um, she posted a photo of her pattern on um, Facebook. I fell in love with it instantly. It was one of those oh, moments, right? If you had seen my other video where I made the uh, Just Feel Festive shawl for Z's birthday, I didn't know how to wear the shawl I, I don't like doing asymmetrical shawls or um, triangle, triangular shawls because I don't know how to wear them. Her pattern was freaking brilliance. Absolute brilliance. And here it is. This 
was just, it was an aha moment for me. It really was. Um, keyhole scarf. Why didn't I think of that? You know, like I, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because trying to wrap these shawls around you and make them look all pretty and everything. It's, oh, it's awful. I don't like making them. But now that I'm thinking keyhole, I'm going, oh, why didn't I think of that when I did the fe Just Feel Festive shawl, right? So now I'm thinking, I'm really liking these shawls. <laughs> so her name, it, you guys might know her on YouTube as Ruby Baby. Um, the story behind this is I bought the pattern on on my cell phone, I bought the pattern, but I didn't realize that my email address on the Etsy on my phone was wrong. So I never got the pattern. So I emailed her and I says, Hey, uh, <laughs> sorry, screwed up. Um, can you send me the pattern? She sent me a message back that just tickled me. She was like, Oh my God. Oh my God. It's you. I'm like, what? <laughs> she says, I've been a subscriber of yours since you pretty much since you started. I'm such a fan. And I was just like, uh, really? <laughs> I, I, was in, I was in shock. It was like that back in back a while back when I saw that lady in Michael's and she was like, oh, I got a fangirling. I was I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I was just like, um, who, me? <laughs> like really? Uh, so anyways, she was just like, yes, absolutely. I'm going to send you the pattern right away. And she did. And I told her, I said, this pattern was absolute a godsend for me because I seen so many of these, um, these triangular shawls and all that. And I just, I think they're beautiful, but I just can't wear them because I don't know how. So this to me was epic. Um, but it's just, isn't it gorgeous? And like I did the tail really long <laughs> only because I screwed up the pattern. Brilliant pattern wasn't her fault. It was totally my fault. Um, I, I ended up doing the count wrong. And the, at the end of the scarf, you have to have a certain number of, uh, stitches in order for the keyhole to work. So, yeah, I ended up making it extra long to get that count. I had to do another eight rows or something. <laughs> so not her fault. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, so this is just absolutely, I just love it. Absolutely. And there's a few ways that you can wear it, right? You can wear it on the side. You can wear it so that the keyhole goes this way. Like there's just, there's so many ways that you can wear this. Okay. Um, I just, and I just love the tassel part, but to me, the way this, with this long, um, the long end here, it kind of reminds me of a pixie scarf, right? So, um, I, I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. And the yarn I used was the Bernat Velvet. I can't tell you what color it is. Uh, but anyways, it's the Bernat Velvet that I used. So awesome, awesome, awesome job. Her name is Angela Wilson. Uh, her YouTube channel is Lovin' Every Stitch. That's L-O-V apostrophe N every stitch. I'll leave her link down below. She, I, when I found out that she had a YouTube channel, I rushed over there and realized that I was already a subscriber, but for some reason I was not getting any notifications. And I've been hearing this a lot on YouTube. Uh, a lot of people are not getting the notifications for, uh, the, so the channels that they're subscribed to. So I went back and I started looking at my, my subscribe or my, uh, subscription list 
And there's a lot of them that I haven't been getting any notifications for. But this one particularly ticked me off because I binge watch her channel. She is the cutest button. I'm telling you, she's, she, oh, I couldn't stop watching her. She's adorable and she's just so genuine. You know, she's just, she's got this aura about her that is huge. And I just, I absolutely adored her just right off the hop, right? You have got to go and check Angela out. She is just, she's so sweet and so talented, so talented. She's got other patterns. Hello. Hi. Oh, sorry. I just want to make sure you're still filming. Yes, I'm still filming. <laughs> um, no, I should Now that you looked. Yeah. There's Crochet B. <laughs> He's watching his football. Um, but anyway, she's absolutely brilliant. She's made these other patterns that I have to try to. But this one really stuck out like right away. I had to, I had to try it. So go check out her channel. Link is down below. You're, you're going to love her. You're going to love her. She's, oh, she's just so damn cute. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, by the way, this pattern is called the Kari Keyhole Scarf. If I, if I'll, I'll find it on um, uh, Etsy. And I think she's on Etsy, Ravelry. She's on a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but if I can find the link, I will link that down below as well. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't bring him in. Crap. Hang on. Hold that thought. Okay, uh, I'm missing a hook. I gotta find it. I got my new Aurora, um, Supernova furls in. I got a nine millimeter, eight millimeter, nine millimeter. I think I got a 10. But anyways, look at these hooks. Ah, oh, they are stunning. Stunning, stunning, absolutely love these hooks. Um, they, I, I've been working with them for some reason, my hooks anyways, they had this strange film over them, uh, kind of a sticky, not sticky, it, it almost felt like wax. So all I did was I ran them under hot water and I soaked them up. And then I, some, a, a subscriber has said this to me before to get the squeak out of your hook is to rub wax paper on them. So that's what I did. I rubbed wax paper all over it and whammo, it worked. So brilliant. God, I'm saying brilliant a lot today. My British is coming out. I, I'm Irish and British, and sometimes one or the other comes out. <laughs> Anyways, those hooks, um, I think they might be all sold out now. I'm not sure. As soon as the new hooks come out on furls, you got to jump on them right away because otherwise you're not going to get one because they sell out so fast. So I just wanted to show you my, my, my pretties. My pretties, I love, I love them. Okay, <clears throat> um, I got so much to tell you guys. Okay, uh, CPAP update. Okay, everybody has been asking me about the CPAP and how I'm doing on it. <clears throat> I'm doing terrible. I am doing absolutely terrible. I, the first week was a trial and error. Uh, I was trying the different masks. Um, my panic attacks were, were at an all time high. Uh, but I did find that with the nose pillow, the one that just goes over your nose. Oh, and I had some, some subscribers tell me this. They said, 
you're probably going to like the, the fuller face mask more. And I was like, oh, I doubt it. Uh-uh, that, no way, that's not happening. Damn it, if it didn't happen. Um, uh, I found that when you had just the nose pillow on or the nose prongs, um, <sighs> the doctor actually explained this to me. When you have the CPAP on, it's pushing the airflow through, right? If you open your mouth, the air comes rushing out of your mouth. And it all of a sudden, it's like my breath caught. It was like, I couldn't breathe. It was scary. And uh, I didn't know what the heck was going on until I talked to him. And then he says, well, you can learn how to control your breathing that way. God forbid you yawn. Holy cow. You feel this gush of air come out of your throat and you're, it's like your tongue gets sucked up to the roof of your mouth or something. It's the, it's the worst feeling. It's, it's freaky if you don't know what's going on. So begrudgingly, I tried the, the face mask and I slept really well. <clears throat> I don't want to have to admit that, but it, I did. But what I'm finding is I can only sleep for two hours with it on. And then I'm like ripping it off my face. Uh, in order for the ministry to pay for this, it's a two month trial. In order for them to pay for it, I'm supposed to have it on for a minimum four hours a night. And I'm just not able to do it. I just, I can't seem to get it past that two hour mark. I have noticed though, that I am feeling better. I don't know if it's because of the metformin or if it's because of the CPAP, but I am starting to feel a little more lively, <clears throat> right? I wake up in the morning. I'm not dragging my butt because I'm tired. Um, and I have a little bit more energy during the day. Like I said, not sure which one it is. Bella out. Sorry, my cat's in here. Um, and life, life noises are happening out there. So, um, so anyways, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually use the CPAP because it's just not, I don't know. I, I, I just can't, I can't seem to use it. And once, if I get one, I don't know if I will use it. Like, I really don't. George says that I've stopped snoring. He says that I sound like I'm breathing better. Uh, my, um, like I was stopped breathing 18 times an hour. I'm down to five or less. So I don't, again, don't know if it's the CPAP or if it's the metformin that's doing that. But, <clears throat> um, yeah, so I don't know. I have to talk to my my doctor and find out how I can deal with this. Um, but yeah, it's not. I don't. I don't really like it. I. It's been a couple of weeks now, and I'm just just can't seem to get past the two weeks or the two hours a night. So <clears throat> so yeah. So there's that. Okay, next, um, I'm going to leave a link down below for Cinnamon Stitches, Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches. Jennifer, surprise! She was the third 25 Days of Christmas um, recipient. So she got the third box. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm doing the 25 Days of Christmas with two people. That's Rosalie from Yarn It Out and Sandy from Left Is Right Crochet. But I had a third box and I was going to surprise someone with that. And that was Jennifer. So I'll leave her link down below for the video of her opening the box. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was so excited. I was just like, oh, I can't wait for her to get the box. So yeah, 
it was um it was a lot of fun watching her open the box and i can't wait until december's to watch everybody open theirs although sandy and i are doing ours in january we've already decided this we're we're not going to do the december we're going to start it in january <clears throat> so yeah okay um next thing sisterhood of the traveling hook mel from colors of the outback has the hook yay she is the last person in australia to get the hook and then it's going off to the netherlands i still haven't heard from anybody in the uk as to whether or not they want to to be a part of this so i may have to hunt out a few people and um like the poppy lady and see if she if they want to be a part of this um because i don't even know if they're subscribed to my channel so <clears throat> uh sunshine leclaire uh all these videos are down below sunshine leclaire she had her video up um just so sweet so sweet oh man she made this really cool vesty um i don't even know what to call it because it's it's like a vest but it's not a vest and it's oh it's so cool you have to go and check out her video uh let's see the now it's going it's the hook is being shipped off to debbie from the canadian crotcheter yay i can't wait for that um i haven't heard from debbie yet i don't know if she's got it she may be in between houses because she's fixing up her her forever home now and she's selling her other home so she might kind of be in between but i'm hoping that she's going to get it before uh, she moves, right? So that's cool. I am so excited about that. Um, I also was telling you guys about my sister or my sister. I don't know if my sister mentioned it. I don't think she did. I think it was me. She mentioned that she is making these little yarn and bags. Okay. Uh, this is something that you can sit on the table beside you while you're crocheting and whenever you snip off your yarn ends um, you can put them in these bags she's got a few of them i'm i'm putting uh, grommets on them and hanging little things from them this is the one that she made for me isn't that cute these bags are reversible and then i put Oops, here we go. Can, uh, turn. I put these on. Can you see that? There you go. These little tassels. So these bags are reversible. Oh, mine has little. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're reversible and they're just like little bags. And sorry, I put a bag in there just to puff it up. But you just put this on your um, this on your side table, and if you're sewing or whatever, and you have like your little clips of yarn of uh, threads or whatever, you put them in the bag, right? So if you're anything like me, you kind of just drop them on the floor down beside your chair, and then you have a hell of a mess beside you. These bags stop that. Okay, so that's that one, and then I did this one. I just finished doing this one. Okay. Um, oh, can you, whoops, can you see that? Yeah. Um, so she has other ones, but I haven't got the grommets put in and the um, tassels put on yet. But these bags, she's selling them for $12 plus shipping. Okay. And like I said, they're reversible, but aren't they adorable? They're so cute. So, yeah. So if you're interested in these, I will be putting these on my Etsy. Uh, once I get photos of them and get all the, um, the tassels on them. But if you're, uh, if, if you're interested, by all means, go over there. And I'm not taking any of the proceeds like any, any of the profits that she's making on this, this is all going to my sister to help her out. Um, I'm trying to get her back into crafting and stuff. And she's the sewer in the family. I am so not. 
Ha, get it? Sew knot. <laughs> um, I can't sew for my life. So she says, you know, please forgive her. Her eyesight still isn't very good. And she doesn't, she says, well, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but I think they're great. I think they're so adorable. I mean, they're just so cute. She did a great job. So yeah, so if you're interested, let me know. Uh, and um, once I get them into my Etsy store, I will also put the link down below for that. Okay, I think my link is down below for my Etsy anyway, because I've got my patterns and everything. So I'm so proud of her though. She She's actually getting into doing stuff again and I'm just so thrilled. So, okay. Uh, next thing I, I asked, you might have seen the video, Rosalie from Yarn It Out did a video. I asked Rosalie if she could go to Hobby Lobby and see if she could find, um, I love this yarn in, uh, mosaic, moody mosaic. She found some. So she sent, oops, she sent it to me. She sent me 10 balls. Oh, just love this. Now I saw this uh, about a year ago on Crystal from Chronically Crocheting. She did a beautiful shawl. Uh, no, sorry, not a shawl, a um, bandana cowl in this color. It was stunning. Um, and I, from that point on, I had to have this yarn. But um, Crystal wasn't well enough to be able to go and get me some. So I asked Rosalie the last time Rosalie sent me all that yarn that I had bought, but she couldn't find this. Well, I asked her again and she says, yes, it is there. So she purchased it or she purchased it for me. I paid her and then she sh shipped it out. But isn't it gorgeous? I cannot wait to use this and guess what I'm using it on. I'm going to make another one of these and I'm going to use this. Yes, I am because I believe that Angela made uh, her just feel festive shawl with this and it was gorgeous. She used three different types of yarn and I was like, Ah, oh, I have to have it. I have to have this yarn. So now I've got it in my hot little hands. So now I am going to, um, to make one of these. <laughs> okay. I want to talk to you about something that's non-yarny and I kind of, I wasn't sure if I wanted to talk about this on here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because it's my channel and I'll do what I want, right? <laughs> okay, you may have noticed in the last couple of videos I've done, I may look a little bit, little bit different. I had gotten a couple of comments saying, oh my goodness, you look great. Like, you know, like you look so rejuvenated and everything. One of the things I did was... My eyelashes, can you tell my eyelashes? See that? My eyelashes. I did not get extensions. And these are not glue on lashes. You see that? These are magnetic lashes. They are. These came out a while ago and, oh, thank you. They came out a while ago and the lady that um, invented them, her name, her company is called Tori Bell and, or Tori Bell or Tori Bella. Anyways, she uh, designed these magnetic lashes. And what it is, is here's, oops. Here's one type here. Okay. These are like an everyday lash. Okay. These ones are um, a more dramatic look. So anyways, the, 
They're called uh, Magnitude Illusion Magnetic Lashes. They are awesome. Absolutely. I was a little leery. Excuse me. I was a little leery about them. I didn't know. I thought, wow. But they are the easiest things to put on. If you can put on liquid liner, you can put on these lashes because that's all it is. Okay. There's a liquid liner. This one has the mascara too. There's ma um, um, uh, magnetic mascara, but this is the liner. Okay. And all you do, it, I'm telling you guys, this is so easy. You just paint a line of liner on your eye, let it dry, put another coat of liner on your eye. You can use the mascara if you want to. You don't have to, but you just put a little bit of the mascara on and then you just take the lash and you put it right up to the liner and it just goes pink and it's like on there. It just, it, you have to maybe just fiddle it just a little bit, but it just snaps right onto your eye. I, or not your eye, but your eyelid. It's awesome. It's awesome. And it, they feel a little heavy at first. They feel kind of weird, but once you've worn them for a few days, you don't, it, they're, they're just like, yeah, okay, whatever. They're no different than wearing extensions. Um, I loved them so much that I became a representative and there isn't very many of us in Canada. So I'm getting kind of in on the ground floor. They came in in Canada in October. Uh, they've been down in the States for a little bit longer, but I just, I couldn't even believe it. You don't need anything else. No matter, you don't need any makeup on, right? You just put your liner on, put your eyelashes on and bam, you're ready to go. Um, I was so thrilled with these. So I know I'm a yarny channel, but I just had to tell you guys about this because it's, it's such a cool idea. There's no more glue. There's no more fiddling around with, you know, the fake lashes. There's no more going into the salon and for a couple of hours and getting all these, um, these lashes put on and then having gaps when you have to get a fill. So I was really hoping that this would have been a good product for my daughter Tia because my daughter Tia gets the extensions to be able to have these on be, you know, while she waits to get her, um, her extensions put back in. But she was saying that she can't do that because you can't put water on or something. I don't know, something about the glue and the whatever. Um, but anyways, there's a couple, there's a, a whole bunch of different types of lashes right? So I'll leave the link, my link down below for my uh, website. Go check it out. Um, it, it's, it's just an awesome idea for those of you that wear uh, fake lashes or whatever. Um, this is a great option. Okay. So that's, an, that's all I'm going to tell you about this. Okay. But it, it's really, it's really cool. It's really cool. And for $55 for the liner and the eyeshadow or for the eyeliner and the uh, lashes, I think it's a pretty darn good deal. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> all right, guys. I think that's all I had to tell you, I think. But me and my girls are going to be doing a uh, another video because... I got, uh, I got my balance box in. Yay! Maybe, hopefully it's a yay. Um, <laughs> the last one didn't go so well for me and George, but we'll see. This is the last box that I'm getting. If this box is good, then I might keep it. If it's not good, I'm getting rid of the box and I'm going to try something else probably. So, okay. So keep, stay tuned for that video and uh, yeah. I guess I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. I will talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.